everyone thank you so much for being here with me on house of the sons global i am making this video because of what i saw going on on the internet about a young man that was pawned by his ex-girlfriend he had wedding and he was pawned by his ex-girlfriend i titled this video leave no enemy behind i'll be talking to guys to i don't know what it is that must have led to this bad news okay i i've got some complaints from girls what is happening in their life i'm not saying that girls are not bad or it's only guys that are bad but listen i've got a lot of complaints from girls concerning their relationship what they go through what some guys do to them and all that so i want to point out one or two things and advise us tell us the way we can actually leave enemies behind unknowingly and the ways uh, and the and the repercussion or the punishment that we are facing in life not knowing the cause of it and as a result of what we've done in the past you know result of uh, our past uh, uh, lifestyle in our relationship you know having bad effect in our marriage that is what i want to talk about okay i want to say this i've got some calls from girls on this kind of issue Okay, I want to start by saying this, okay? I I know I'm not gonna call names, but I've I, I've seen I've heard where some guys deal with some girls messlessly. Some of them use because of their handsomeness, some of them use because of their money, and they play with these girls. Listen to me. You know, there are some things we do at times in life we don't know what we are actually bringing upon ourselves. I'm going to give you an example before I, I dive into this thing. Um, this thing is happening in entertainment industry, in the movie industry precisely, in one of the states in, in Nigeria, which I am a member of the guild, okay? And it happened some time ago that a producer came up with a movie production. And the, on, this, uh, on the script, there is a particular name. For example, there is a marker the role of Amaka, and then um, they find uh, uh, it happened that many girls they had they were given scripts full scripts to play the same role of Amaka. And what was happening behind this young man was busy, not just him, including his PAs, they were busy messing up these girls, sleeping with them in the name of. I'll give you a role to play in a movie, okay? So it happened that at a point, these girls, they started coming in contact with each other, discovering that I am this person is uh, uh, playing the role of Amaka, the other person is playing the role of Amaka. And then the question came up like, how come two, three, four, five persons playing one role in a movie? It's not that go. Uh, it's not that they were told to go and study the role that you are coming to compete or or do a kind of audition. No, they have been assured that they are going to play the roles. Okay, now look at what happened. They found out that there are many of them playing the uh, taking up the role of Amaka in that script. What happened? Before they realize it, the producer and his uh, PAs they've used all of them. Now what happened? Something happened. These girls, they came together at night. I'm not telling you a fairy tale or a story that I was told. It happened. They came at night. They naked themselves. They came at night. They put away their clothes at night. And they laid a curse upon this man. And I'm telling you the truth. All these guys involved, all these men involved, their life today has nothing to write home you see, about. See, let me tell you this. There are things we do at times in life. We think we are being smart. We are being intelligent. We are being, you know, we are happening without knowing that we are bringing curses upon ourselves. Okay, what will make a young man keep a young girl you are not married to? You keep getting her pregnant and keep pleading with her to get rid of the baby. Not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, like many times. And she kept being with you, being there, 
you know, hoping and believing that, you know, kind of doing these things for you. In the name, some of them will tell them, I'm not ready for marriage now. I'm not ready to welcome baby now. Can we do this? Can we do that? And they will, will succumb. They will say yes. At the end of the day, you dump them, break their heart, run into another woman's hand and get married. Expecting to build a home and you've chattered somebody's life somewhere. Why being with them? Why you, are no, why you know that you are not ready for them? Why being with them? Why keeping them? Why getting them do things that on a normal they will not want to do for you? And at the same time, you know that you are not ready for them. You are not going to take them for anything. And at the end of the day, you dump them. All of a sudden, you get married. Go into marriage. You're looking for a child. You're facing difficulties. You, you're facing pains and, uh, and uh, the lack and frustration and a lot of things in your marriage and you're looking for somebody to blame. And some of you, we, 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 we put it on your wife that since I married you, everything turned around, that you came into my life with problems, not knowing that this is something that you brought upon yourself. Let me tell you, whatever we do today in life, it has a repercussion. If you do good, good is coming to you. If you do bad, bad is coming to you. That is why I always tell people, please leave no enemy behind. Please make peace with your past. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you have to sit down, browse your life, think about your life. What am I getting myself into? What am I getting myself involved with? Am I doing the right thing? Am I doing what I'm supposed to do? Let nobody deceive you. Let no friends deceive you. Let no group or whatever deceive you. That you're being smart, that you're being that, that, that you're handsome, you can get away with anything you want. You have the money, you can get away with anything you, you, you do. Nobody's gonna question you, nothing is going to happen, nobody will ask. I'm telling you what, that cry of that girl, the cry of that girl, the, the, the pain she packs to, the, 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 the weeping at night. The, the wetting of her bed with her tears, the gnashing of teeth, the curses she laid, it will rise one day to speak. And when it rises, until something is done, until a right step is taken, you are not coming out of it. I'm telling you the reality. So my advice today, look, look at what happened to that young man on the internet. Got burnt. Got what? Burnt. According to the video I watched from Uncle IB, he was saying that the, 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 the girl poor, 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 poor fell on the girl, on the guy, and, 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 put, and put the, 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 the light, and the guy grabbed the girl. Both of them bond. You see? You see? Some of them are ready to go down with you. Some of them are ready to do some nasty thing as long as, whatever, in fact, as long as, you know, whatever it takes to end it all with you. Because of what you've done to them in the past. Yeah, I know some of us, some guys will come up like, I, I, I love her, I'm serious with her, I want to have something meaningful with her at the end of the day. But let me tell you one thing. When you are not ready, why wasting your time beating about the things? I'm going to share a video, a link of my video that I titled, A Wrong Step to Marriage. If you're a guy, if you're a girl, please, Go to the comment section after watching this video. Go to the comment section. You are going to see that video. Click on it. Watch that video. Watch that video. It will go a long way to save you the stress of being in relationship for one year, two, three, four, five years, expecting to have something happen. And at the end of the day, something will not happen or something may happen. And I'm going to drop a video. Please, if you're a guy and you're a girl, you still need to watch this video. I'm dropping the link on the comment section of this video. I titled it, A Man You Must Not Marry, Part 2. Guys, you need to watch this video because it gives you the quality and the understanding of what you need to have in your life before you step into, uh, you know, step out to say, I want to get a woman. And if you're a woman, it will open your eyes to understand more what you are going to be looking at for in the life of a man before you say yes or accept anything from him. I want to plead with us, guys, when dealing with girls, let us be merciful. Let us deal 
with girls with pity. Okay, let us stop accumulating things for ourselves in the name that we are being we are, we are, we are, we are, we are happening or because we have the money or because or because we are you, you are handsome or because of any reason. Please let us see the future. Let us stop only seeing now. A man that only sees now without considering what happens in in future, what happens later. Such a man gets involved in things that that coming out of it at times is always difficult. Sometimes it ends their life. Please, I want to plead with us. Please let us be let us be considerate. Even the Bible said in the book of 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 7, that you should deal with your partner considerately, seeing her as a weaker vessel. If you read down there, it says that so that your prayer, nothing will hinder your prayer. Let us be considerate in dealing with girls, in, with, in dealing with women. I know women at times they make things that you, you feel like you, you want to you you, you, you you want to you know you know do what you don't want to do. But please let us take it easy. Easy. Thank you so much and God bless you. And don't forget, this is House of the Sons Global.